I was poking around on my because I, I I saw a story about how Xbox Game Pass was coming to like Google TV and Android TV devices, and I keep poking at the store uh, every few days uh, when I have some downtime on my on my uh, Google TV that's in my bedroom. Because and, and, yeah, I love the Nvidia works pretty great on it. I'd love to see if you know the Game Pass would work on it and everything. Um, and, and so I'm poking around in there and I just search for Game Pass in the App Store, and I came across several streaming video game services I've never heard of before. Um, now, I, let me let me tell you about the two of them that, I, I you know, I, I don't know. They're, they're, they seem kind of suspect to me a little bit. So there's two of them that is a, a pay-to-play subscription service. Um, look like they intend to be the, um, you know, Game Pass alternative of sorts. One is called Vortex. They sh they're showing off Fortnite. Um, they're showing off uh, uh, Minecraft, Apex Legends, The Witcher 3, uh, Dota 2, Grand Theft Auto 5. And when you poke in there about pricing, again, it's like the live streaming, you know, uh, game streaming. They start at like $10 a month, don't have full HD, 77 games include the library. You start get, bump up to $20 and $30 and you get more features and uh, and get up to 158 games in their library. And, and this is the other interesting thing, too. Like at $10, you have 50 hours of play, eight hours, 80 hours of play, 140 hours of play, depending on the tier you have. Um, this is the one, let me see, hold on, because these are all kind of blending together for me now. Again, again, they got Among Us, they get Amnesia, and I want to point out, like, a lot of these are games that I see on a lot of different Game Pass things, and the other weird thing is if you see a key by it, like, let's say Grand Theft Auto V, it's not actually included to play with the subscription. You need to get a, or wait, no, are these basic ones? Yeah, I think this is the one where you need a license to play it, which means you do need to purchase it on Steam in order to play it with this service. And there's a smattering of them that do that. Um, so it's like a cross between like Game Pass, where it's one price for everything, and the uh, you're paying to be able to play your game that you bought in the cloud. Um, you know, it's not a lot of games in here, but, uh, it, you know, it's enough to be like, oh, I can't play you know, this game and that game, unless I, I purchase it otherwise, and then also pay for a subscription, which is, again, that's what I do for GeForce, but at least, like, that's, a, it's, it's, it's basically, every game is like that. Another one I found is called Black Nut. That's what it's called. Um, very similar. It, it's, uh, jeez, I don't even know if the pricing was on here. Yeah, $15.99 a month. All-inclusive, no lock-in contract, it's saying. No need to buy games. And again, if you look at what I just had, there's a lot of similar games kind of going on here. Oh, it has the new Shaq Fu on it. But again, like a lot of stuff that you see on Game Pass and things like that. So it's an alternative. Um, and, and these all seem to work again across um, every platform, every computer platform on Android phones and boxes. Um, they say, I did not see this. This one claims to work on iPad and iPhone. And is that on install the app? Oh, I'm really curious about this because it says there's an app to install. Okay. I'd be amazed if this one made it past the app store when others have it. And then, of course, Google TV is listed here as well. Um, but the one that I'm really excited about, because it's free, guys, is this one called Ant Stream. Another one where I thought this one's BS. It's like the Wish thing, right? And I was like, this is some kind of BS, like, not legal game thing. Um, but this is, it is legitimate. It is, um, it's, it's streaming and it's a, it's really aimed at classic games. It's all inclusive and free. I haven't run into what you pay for. I think it's for the competitions and leaderboards to participate because I, I poked on something that had some live leaderboards and challenges and it wanted me to pay gems to do it, but you earn gems as you play, I guess. Uh, the original Mortal Kombat is on this thing. It has um, LucasArts games. It has Midway games. It has Namco games. Uh, again, a lot, a lot of arcade games are included in this. And, I, and, and it installed, signed up, and I was playing it with my Xbox controller on my Google TV basically immediately. Um, this is really cool. It's got Neo Geo games <laughs> on it. Like I'm seeing Bubble Bottle, Space, Space Invaders. I was playing Gauntlet. 
Uh, like I mentioned, Earthworm Jim. Uh, a lot of different versions of Pac-Man are on it. And, uh, uh, and I mentioned a LucasArts. It, to, to, to the point where LucasArts games-wise... It has the Super Star Wars and Super Empire Strikes Back from the Super Nintendo. It has the NES Star Wars games on it as well. Um, so it's a really interesting smattering of games. And again, it's free. And it works on you know, basically everything except for iOS at this point. But anything with a browser, um, Fire Stick TV, uh, Google TV, Android TV appear to be all compatible. A lot of, um, a lot of uh, Atari games are on this as well. So I, I don't know. Does this, this seem like this seems like this seems like the easiest thing to access for the okay. easiest, easy, most accessible games? Now the Atari games interest me, mm-hmm. um, just because that's what I grew up with. Yeah, you know I grew up with the twenty six hundred, so that interests me to play those 